All right, I'm reporting from the future to tell you that all of the information we learned while we were here is not something that we're even gonna try to relate. I'm just gonna show you what we saw and you're gonna <laughs> see it. And if you wanna learn, you gotta come because it is pretty awesome. All right, today we are in Geneseo, New York, and we are at the National Warplane Museum. This is a museum that specializes in military aircrafts, and they restore, display, and fly them sometimes. Yeah, looks pretty good. Just pull on in here. You now there's one, two, three, four, five, five old World War II airplanes right uh, on display, and it looks like you can go inside them and everything. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Um, um, we both used to live here. This is actually the town we met in. Um, and I've never been here, I don't think. I do have a picture from childhood um, where we're standing by a war plane. I don't know where <laughs> it, could be it was located. Yeah, Geneseo Airport, Geneseo, New York, right on Route 63, um, just outside the village. Yep, so it costs $10 to get in, so we're gonna go get in. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, so we went into the uh, visitor center, signed in, it's $10. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some kind of meeting going on, must have been, uh, some kind of club meeting going on so they have a gift shop in there and about mm -hmm. a thousand models of all the different types of airplanes yeah. all all around it's it's pretty nice yeah um it was very cool and also a diorama of d-day um, which was pretty immense yeah so we'll go check it out and see what we can find yeah there's way more here than i thought <laughs> there's way more here yeah. than i thought should be a good day the first display we came to was about the Memphis Bell, a B-17 bomber, and one of the first heavy bombers to complete 25 combat missions. Next is an example of what the bunks look like and what the troops had for personal items. A lot of these personal items were donated by family members, such as photos, medals, letters, and this silk map displaying routes which were used for downed airmen to return to safety if they were ever shot down. Next are some displays of home life in the 40s. This display shows Whiskey 7 on its return flight to Normandy in 2014, celebrating the 70th anniversary of its flight to Normandy in 1944. Here is an example of what the paratroopers carried when they jumped from the airplanes. All of this equipment, including guns and ammunition, weighed over 100 pounds. Prior to a mission, a team would have to go in advance to set up beacons so the planes would know where to go. The museum also had other vehicles aside from planes. They had these two cool Jeeps that I thought were pretty interesting. We didn't talk about them at all on the tour, but I definitely took some time to take a look at them. Another thing they had was this really neat flight simulator. Here is a Link Trainer, which was created in 1929 out of the need for a safe way to teach new pilots how to fly by instruments. This flight simulator responds to the pilot's controls and gives an accurate reading on the included instruments. More than 500,000 pilots were trained with this simulator. Excuse me, some of them, did, some of them were doing uh, air tours. Um, this one came to us uh, from Mohawk Airlines. This is, you know this is a flying model because it's leaking oil. Yeah. Um, it's a fun aircraft, I'm, I'm told that it's a fun aircraft to fly and a fun aircraft to be a passenger in. Over here, uh, a couple of examples. These models here are the actual aircraft. Um, these models were built by a retired art teacher named George Lucas, who lives down in Nunday, right down here in Livingston County. Our, these are World War I aircraft. This is a Fokker D7, this is a Fokker DR1. Biplane, triplane. Um, the covering of this aircraft was Irish cloth. Um, but yeah, these were, these were wood and wire aircraft. Um, the guys who, and these are flying models, both of them. Yeah. 
This is Whiskey 7 right here. Um, you're welcome to climb up in her if you'd like. It's our World War II veteran, our baby. This is the one that goes up every summer, huh? Yep. Yeah. I've flown in her a couple of times. So when you fly, where do you sit? Or just like right here? Right in here. Yeah. We're putting new seats. We're putting new seats in now. Uh, we had original canvas seating in here. Well, so when this airplane, when this aircraft came to us, she was uh, a surplus executive ship being used by some company. And she was filled in paneling, she had great furniture, she yeah. had a bar. And, and one of the first things the museum did when we got her was, was gut all that stuff and we returned her to flight condition, or World War II flight condition. We're putting new seating in right now, um, but uh, when I was aboard her, we still had the canvas seating here with the military style seat belts. Uh -huh. Come on up, you can see what the cockpit is, and when you, when you fly, you happen to come down here, book a customer flight. Once we're up and straight and level, um, flying over Letchworth or flying over Canisius Lake, you can come right up in here and get the pilot view of, of what's going on. Most of the, uh, we've got uh, most of the steam gauges are in here, um, telling the aircraft attitude, oil pressures, water temperatures, airspeed, um, compass directions, but we also do also have upgraded radios and, and navigation gear up here for our pilots, similar to what you're seeing in more modern aircraft. Really big. Yeah, it is. One of the other aircraft that I think is really cool is non-flying right now. Watch your head. It's really funny that the service life of this aircraft has exceeded the life of the country that designed her, the Soviet <laughs> Union. Um, she's still active today um, in Africa and in Eastern Asia as a transport ship. Huh? Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Huh. I love it. This way. Look straight on. Oh yeah. That's thin. This looks very neat. When we first pulled up, this door was open and yeah. The one guy said we could go in, but now the door is shut, so yeah. I don't think we're going to try. I look at those tires. It's really big. It's amazing something this size can fly. Yeah. Yeah, this is huge. Yeah, this must come down. Yeah. Someone just took off. Huh? Someone just took off. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna peek in the over here. Oh wow. Yeah. Huh. I thought I was gonna just peek in the cockpit window and it's way up there. Oh wow. But you can so kind of see. You're way it. up there. Wow. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be right here, but it's not. Yeah, we're definitely not aviation people. Man. All these little cables are. Oh, this is broken here. See? Yeah. Not sure. Hamilton Standard. This one's got two tails. Oh, maybe we can see inside this one. That looks like it's permanently here. Yeah, it's grounded. and everything up there. Yeah. Pretty neat. Really big. I 
guess that all just tucks up in there somehow. So, yeah. It's a pretty big tire. <laughs> <laughs> With a bunch of little windows. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that. Twin tails. I wonder what's in those things. Sealed fuel cavity drain line. Oh, maybe that's a oh, so maybe fuel, it's fuel. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's where they put more fuel. I don't know. All right, well, we're just finishing up looking at their grounded planes that they have on display outside, and it is so neat. Yeah. Um, they've got tons of stuff, just lots of displays, memorabilia, planes. Um, it seems like there's a club of pilots that meets here, and they all work on planes and yeah, fly all, planes. and other planes and restore a bunch of planes. Well, there's probably... 50 planes here. Yeah, it was really neat. And we did end up having a tour guide. Someone came out. Um, he was so knowledgeable and just really interesting to hear about everything that they've got here. I would definitely check it out. Yeah, check yeah. it out. And you, know, you can even ride on uh, Whiskey 7. You That's know, right. They do have rides on that. Yeah. I think coming up next month or the month after, they're going to start having rides on the weekends on Whiskey 7 and a couple of the other airplanes too. Yeah, and they also have a big air show here in the summer. It's going to be the second weekend of July in 2024, and they have planes coming in from other areas. Um, they said there's going to be a, fit, a Spitfire, some Warhawks, um, lots of different stuff. I don't know what those planes are, um, but, we'll find but it out. sounds neat. Yeah. So definitely, if you're in the Geneseo area, make sure to check out the National War Museum. Yeah. Such a great place. You know, I learned so much today. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll, and we'll see, see you on, on the, the trails. trails.